Hi, so I recognized this week that I was in my stuff. Um, I'm a coach, I help other people get out of their stuff and sometimes I get in my own stuff and uh, one of the things that just got me out of it was what I always teach in my workshops, which is what emotions are signaling. And it's not what we think. A lot of people think that they are their emotions um, but actually the emotions are really just signaling areas that we want to expand into or often it's the emotion is telling us that um, the deeper part of us understands that there is um, growth there and we just haven't caught up to that growth yet and that's kind of where I've been for the last well certainly the last couple of days I've sort of been in it but but for the last maybe a week or two. Um, and so I recognized when I started using the tools that I help other people use, how helpful that can be, you know? Am I saying that it's not okay to have emotions? Of course not. Yeah, have emotions, it's great. If you need to release them, do that. Um, but also recognize that when we're having emotions, it's typically the resistance to what is. Um, wanting something to look different than it does and that's why there's resistance somehow we got the message or the memo that we were supposed to know exactly how everything was supposed to turn out and if we do this then this happens and happily ever after and all that stuff and there is all of that stuff and um, emotions are just that opportunity so now I was able to shift because I went, oh, okay, this is why I'm my, the deeper part of me is wanting to expand in a direction and I'm in resistance to what that direction is. So I thought I would share that with you today because, you know, I'm having to pull out all of my tools lately and use them on myself. And one of the things, um, you know, that happens with my clients is that they have some of these tools already. They just need to remember and and I'm doing the same now I'm remembering what it is that I know to be the truth and using those tools to sort of uh, snap out of it and recognize as usual that life really is slanted in our favor um, most everything that's going on in our lives is super good and when we're not feeling good, it's typically be, typically because we are focusing on the things that aren't going well, which honestly, if we looked at it, I mean, one of the things that I talk about all the time is this sort of radical gratitude where we are just grateful for everything that's in our lives. I mean, down to the everything, to the pillow we slept on and the bed and the covers and uh, running water and you know toothpaste to put on my toothbrush and you know on the super essential shelter and food and water and love and um, all those things are met and so uh, when we're having these emotional experiences often it's because we're focused on the wrong thing we're focused on the thing that's not showing up how we want it to when there's all these other wonderful things that are showing up um, and when we concentrate on those things uh, typically inevitably the thing that we really want shows up too anyway i hope that's helpful to whoever's listening um, i really only want to share what's going on for me and and often with my clients because i think that we're in this together and we're all sort of going through the same stuff it may have different characters and look slightly different but I think mostly it's just we're having emotional responses to things that we cannot control and we want it to look a certain way and it doesn't look that way and um, so I'm going to today practice that radical gratitude I hope that you can use that too have a wonderful day peace